Welcome, welcome to a John Leg Fragrance Review. You know what? I'm so pleased you've come to this channel. I really appreciate it. If you could do the thumbs up, if you would subscribe, I would be so grateful and honoured. Right, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Right, I woke up the other morning and I thought, Leggy, set yourself a challenge. And I thought of those words of wisdom from the world's greatest ever detective, Inspector Clouseau. He said, and I quote, the greater the challenge, the greater the reward. Oh, and with those words of wisdom ringing in my brain, so I thought, right, Leggy, set yourself a challenge. And my challenge was to find a fragrance for under £15. OK, now I've never really done this sort of thing before. You know, I normally expect to spend a minimum 60, 70, 80, 100 pounds on a fragrance. But £15, including postage, that was my cap. Right. So I dropped myself onto eBay, I dropped myself onto Amazon and I dropped myself onto Super Fragrances. And you know what? I was... I was absolutely blown away because there are literally hundreds of fragrances for under £15 with the postage. So my eyes sort of scanned the screen and I kind of thought, how am I going to choose one out of the hundreds on there? So I started looking at the listings, looking at the notes, looking at the top notes, middle notes, base notes and going, you know what, I like that note. I'm trying to work out one and I chose one in the end. And I'm going to be honest with you, I can scarcely even say the name of it. I will try in a minute, but I'll show you it. OK, now you would expect, because most of them are made in the United Arab Emirates, you would expect them to be the typical, very oily, oldy, slightly floral, woody, Arabic sort of scent. But this one seriously isn't. OK, and I specifically picked it for its notes, which I love all of the notes. However... I'll be perfectly honest with you, when I actually sort of set on the place I was going to buy it, which was eBay, I managed to find it for £11.99 with the packaging. OK, so seriously, I suppose you take out £2 postage packaging because it's just quite a heavy box sort of thing. It's a £10 fragrance. OK, so it took three days to arrive. It arrived and I looked at it. <laughs> I don't normally bother showing you the packaging, but here we go. Right, so £11.99 spent and you get this, okay? You get a magnetic box, okay? You open it and you're met with a very exotic looking fragrance, okay? You take it out and it's quite a heavy bottle, right? It's got like a nice finish to it. I'm going to show you the name because I'm struggling with the name, but right. There you go. I think it's called, forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, Ahalam al Kahij. Okay, seriously, forgive me if I'm getting it wrong. Now, the stopper, the stopper's really heavy. It all looks good. But before I sprayed it, I was thinking, I'm skeptical. 11 99 including postage, it's never going to be good. Okay, I totally changed when I sprayed it. Let's do it. Right, okay, I've got to be serious now. This seriously smells like a 70 to 80 pound fragrance. Let me try and describe the fragrance to you. It's not your traditional Arabic smell. It's not that oily, oldy, floral note, okay? It's a freshy, it's sparkling, and it is an amazing scent. All right, at the top, you've got your black currant, your saffron and your bergamot and that is your sparklingness about it in the middle you've got a bit of jasmine and a little bit of rose and at the bottom you've got your earthly uh, earthly earthy notes of your patchouli and your woods and you know what this is a phenomenal fragrance there are hints hints of creed aventus there are hints of Dior Sauvage, and there are hints of Bleu de Chanel. Right, it's not a clone. It doesn't claim to be a clone of any of those, and it seriously isn't any of those. But as you smell it, and it changes a little bit as you smell it, you get little hints of those big players. Right. Okay. One of my neighbours, let me tell you, one of my neighbours came round, 
I said, oh, before you go, I've got a new fragrance. Can I spray it on you? And she said, yes. So I sprayed it on her and she went, oh, it's for men. I said, yeah, yeah, it's a men's fragrance, but what do you think? And she went, yeah, it's good. It's amazing. I love it, she says. I says, okay, how much do you think I've spent on it? She, th she thought for quite some time and she went, 80? And I went, we'll keep it there. All right. This is probably going to go up in price because when people find out about this, what normally happens is they start to put the price up. And in maybe 12 months time, this will probably be a £25 fragrance. But at 11 99 seriously, hand on heart, you will not be disappointed. How did it last and how does it project? Right. It lasts well. You can see when it goes on your skins. As soon as you see an oily sort of residue, once you've sprayed a fragrance, you know it's going to last. Spray it on your clothes because it's a clear fragrance. It will not sort of stain your clothes. A little cheeky bit on your clothes. And trust me, you will, you ain't going to believe this, you will get all day out of this. I put a bit on my neck, a bit on my wrist, and I put a bit down my T-shirt. And I smelt it all day. As I got a bit warmer at times, it came up. Tell you what, I would actually spend more like 20 25 pounds on this. All right, let's be realistic. It's not a hundred mil, it's not quite a hundred mil, it's an 80 mil. But so what? At 11 99 with the postage, you can afford to keep spraying this all day long, every day. And then you could, you know what, you could have one a month and it still wouldn't break the bank. So, my mind is now set on these 15 pound fragrances and I think I'll, I'll give myself a good challenge here. I'm going to buy another 15 pound fragrance in the next week or so and review that. But, and I'll show you again and I'll put it in the listing. So my suggestion is if you want to try it, copy and paste it and find it. eBay was the cheapest place but there are other places that sell it. So there you go. However you say that, Ahalam, Akajij, whatever you say it, go for it. You will not be disappointed. In fact, you'll probably say, Leggy, that's the best £12 I've ever spent. Right. Appreciate you watching this video. Appreciate you coming to this channel. Thumbs up if you would. Subscribe if you would. See you next time. Stay safe. Stay spray all that perfume and enjoy yourself. Goodbye.